Ever pondered what the future of transportation might look like? Will we be zipping around in flying cars or teleporting in the blink of an eye? As we look at the current trends in transportation technology, it's clear that we're on the cusp of some serious innovation. From electric vehicles to autonomous driving, the landscape is shifting dramatically. But there's one concept that stands out from the rest, the Hyperloop. This futuristic transportation system promises to revolutionize travel as we know it, using pressurized tubes and magnetic levitation technology to propel capsules at ultra-fast speeds. Imagine, if you will, commuting between cities in mere minutes, not hours. Picture a world where distance is no longer a barrier to our daily lives, intrigued? So how does this Hyperloop actually work? To understand the Hyperloop we need to first explore two key concepts, vacuum tubes and magnetic levitation. Let's break these down. First, the vacuum tubes. Now imagine you're trying to push a piece of paper through a straw. It's not too hard, right? But what if you were trying to push a whole wad of paper through the same straw? That's a lot more difficult. This is essentially the principle behind vacuum tubes. By sucking out most of the air inside the tube, it creates a near-vacuum environment. This drastically reduces air resistance, making it easier for the capsule to travel through the tube, just like that single piece of paper through the straw. Next up, Magnetic Levitation or Maglev for short. Now remember those times when you were a kid playing with magnets? If you tried to push two magnets together, they'd repel each other, right? That's essentially how Maglev works. The Hyperloop capsule is outfitted with magnets, and the tube is lined with a series of other magnets. When the magnetic fields interact, they create a force that lifts the capsule off the tube's surface, allowing it to float. This eliminates friction, which would otherwise slow down the capsule, providing a smooth, almost frictionless journey. So we've got a high-speed capsule floating in the air inside a near-vacuum tube. Now to make the capsule move, an electric motor is used. This motor creates a magnetic field that propels the capsule forward. And because there's very little air resistance or friction to slow it down, the capsule can reach and maintain incredibly high speeds. But what about stopping? Well, the same electric motor that propels the capsule forward can also slow it down. By reversing the magnetic field, the motor can create a braking force, bringing the capsule to a smooth stop. So we've got a vacuum tube and a magnetically levitating capsule. Put them together and what do you get? The Hyperloop. Imagine a capsule floating in a tube, zipping along at speeds faster than an airplane. Sounds like science fiction, right? But that's the Hyperloop. At the heart of this groundbreaking technology are two key components, vacuum tubes and magnetic levitation. Picture a colossal tube stretching between two cities. Now, suck out nearly all the air, creating a vacuum. Why a vacuum, you ask? Well, it's all about reducing air resistance, which is one of the main speed bumps for traditional transportation. By minimizing air pressure, the Hyperloop eliminates nearly all friction, allowing for speeds that are nothing short of breathtaking. We're talking about 700 miles per hour, faster than a commercial jet. Now let's take a look at the capsules, or pods as they're often called. These pods are designed to be sleek and aerodynamic, further reducing any resistance. But how do they move, you might wonder? That's where magnetic levitation, or maglev technology, comes in. The pods are equipped with magnets. When these magnets interact with an electromagnetic field within the tube, they create a force. This force lifts the pod off the track, causing it to levitate. Yes, you heard it right. The pods literally float within the tube. Once the pod is levitating, another set of magnets propels it forward. Because the pod is floating, there's no friction from contact with rails or wheels. This means it can maintain high speeds for extended periods, using less energy. The design of the tubes also plays an important part in the system's efficiency. They are built to withstand changes in weather and pressure ensuring a smooth and safe ride regardless of external conditions. But the Hyperloop is not just about speed, it's about efficiency too. The system is powered by renewable energy sources including solar, wind and kinetic energy, making it a truly green mode of transportation. So, that's the Hyperloop in a nutshell. But what does this mean for us and our future travels? It's not just about speed, the Hyperloop could revolutionize our lives in many other ways. Now let's dive into some of the potential impacts of this revolutionary technology. Firstly, it's about time, or rather, the lack of it. Hyperloop's ultra-fast travel times could dramatically reduce the hours we spend in transit. Imagine being able to zip from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 30 minutes. That's less time than it takes to watch a sitcom. We're talking about turning hours-long commutes into mere minutes, bringing cities closer together than ever before. 
This improved connectivity could have profound implications for where and how we live and work. No longer would we be restricted by geographical proximity. You could live in the sunny climes of San Diego, work in the bustling tech hub of Silicon Valley, and still be home in time to watch the sunset on the beach. This kind of flexibility could reshape our cities, our economies, and our lifestyles. Moreover, Hyperloop's magnetic levitation technology uses considerably less energy than traditional modes of transport, making it a greener option. This could help us reduce our carbon footprint and move towards a more sustainable future. But like any innovation, Hyperloop isn't without its challenges. Safety is a prime concern. How do we ensure passengers are safe while hurtling through tubes at over 700 miles per hour? And there are regulatory hurdles to overcome. Building the infrastructure for Hyperloop would require cooperation from various authorities and stakeholders, a daunting task to say the least. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of Hyperloop are awe-inspiring. It's not just about getting from point A to point B faster, it's about redefining what's possible. It's about a future where we're no longer bound by distance or time. The Hyperloop promises a future where we can live in one city, work in another, and still be home in time for dinner. A future where distance is no longer a barrier. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? So, are you ready for the Hyperloop revolution?